Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Season finale. Season finale. Season finale. Ah, ah, it's season coming up. <laughs> We are here uh, going to Pinball's Season 1 finale, yep. ladies and gentlemen. It has been a fantastic adventure. adventure. What do you think? Have you, have, have you had some fun? You had some fun along the way? And I've had some delicious food. I've had, I've had a great, great time. Um, and, uh, man, I can't wait to start doing uh, Season 2. And uh, I hope uh, our, our subscribers stay tuned. Because we have such a whole bunch of cool stuff coming. With that being said, let's get this party cracking with the original old school Red Bull. Just for the smell of it. it. <laughs> oh, oh, Perrier. Per like, like the thing to do with Red Bull is <laughs> when you crack it, you have to put it in front of the vent. And it just circulates that air in the car, and it's just oh, like right on. it's your own. Uh, yeah, makes yeah. it more delicious. That's it. Man. Not another whole salute. Salute, season one. Oh, really? I, some people tell me that I know. Yeah, exactly. I wish I had the the, the skills and the money he has, but yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessive compulsive by nature, and I started collecting pinball machines. And I told my wife, Mickey, I'm like, hey, by the way, I got a couple of pinball machines coming. You okay with that? She's like, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, well, I have ten of them coming. So we put them in the garage, started playing them. She used to play pinball when she was young, so did I. I kind of grew up on that, um, and. Uh, at that point, we're like, well, let's let's open up something cool, like a small arcade here in Austin that people can get back to their classic gaming. And that was the genesis for the first Pinball's Arcade. So we have three locations now. We have the original Pinball's Arcade on Burnett Road. We have the Pinball's Kingdom down in Buda, just south of Austin. And then Pinball's Lake Creek, our largest location up here, right by Lake Lime Mall. Pinball's Lake Creek's our largest location. We have full restaurant and bar. In fact, we have multiple restaurants and multiple bars, including one of the largest whiskey bars in North Austin. We have games and attractions, so you have a huge mix of pinball machines, classic arcade games, but also a lot of the new shooters, a lot of the new drivers, action basketball games, and then we have some of the attractions, the top attractions in the world. We have five different virtual reality attractions. You can do everything from headset-based virtual reality all the way to fully immersed, running in place in a zombie apocalypse type, uh, and a, a 7D uh, theater, basically it's called Triotech 7D Theater, where you're immersed in 70, the wind hits your face, you're, you're shooting while you're running and doing activities. So we have all that 3D type stuff. And then we also have the high speed action attractions like go-karts. Uh, we've got laser tag, one of the top laser tags in town, huge arena that can hold up 32 people at a time. We have the bumper cars, we have kitty rides, we full on kitty rides. We have mini bowling, uh, you know, sometimes you want to just get up and bowl without putting shoes on and doing a whole bunch of stuff to it, so mini bowling, and all the escape rooms, just a variety of different things here. <laughs> so what inspired us is we just want to keep the people happy. No matter where you're at, there's always something that, you know, you enjoy, you like. 
Well, I've been a chef for about 24 years, been a manager for about 10 years of Spain. So I've been in the kitchen for a very long time. Um, I overcome a lot of obstacles. One thing that's been very challenging that people don't realize, I'm deaf. So um, that has been a unique challenge. A lot of people respect my work and respect my craft, but also respect my talent because of what I bring to the table. It's nothing but passion, no distraction. Fast side up. So I'm from the Midwest, so everything is wet. So we're not used to dry food until I came to Texas. So Texas has a phenomenal starts on the side thing because of how they smoke and how they do it. But me, uh, I like licking my fingers, so sauce on, on, sauce on it. We're over here enjoying some food at the Pinball's Mickey's Tavern. Uh, we have quite a spread going on. Right now we are trying the Texas brisket barbecue burger. Let's go in for that bite. That is a good burger. Mmm. Say it, look at that deliciousness. I don't know if I'm be able to bite that. <laughs> but that is massive, man. Look how tall this is, guys. That's this tall. This is, looks really good. Mm. We're into some silliness. Mm. These delicious curly fries oh. that we're getting into. Okay, guys. Trumpets digging into the curly fries. Let's see. Mmm. I taste, I taste onion in there. I don't know why. I taste onion. That is curliness. There's curliness in there. Look at that tacky rib deliciousness. You see that, people? That is tacky rib deliciousness. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Okay. We got pork baby back ribs. Over there for a bite. Let's go. Ah. That sauce just dominates the rib. But that sauce on that rib has got some delicious sweetness to it. That it's just awesome. These are the barbecue chicken wings. Man, these are huge. Look at the size of that wing, guys. Excellent, really well done. Let's just try some of these OG fries. Mmm. Nice seasoning on there. Nice big, thick cut. Should I go in for a bite for my brisket sandwich? Uh, first and foremost, I will say that the brisket has a nice bark to it. That's delicious. I've got black pepper, I've got salt, definitely got some garlic. Maybe some like all-purpose seasoning in there. Guys, this is the BBQ brisket pizza. It's got brisket, jalapenos, delicious sauce. Look at the sauce that's in there. Uh, I see some onions. There's definitely some cheese, cheesy goodness. Let's go in for a bite, ready? Here you go, I'll let you guys taste this one first. <laughs> now it's my turn. Let me take a bite. Take this out. <laughs> that cheese, I don't know. I am just a sucker for cheese with crust. Like, a good combination on this pizza. Yeah, I really like that. That is really, really good. That's how every BBQ pizza should taste. All right, guys, we're about to enter into this XD dark ride. Oh, 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 oh. that hurt. Probably can't even see me in here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've had a great time. That was the XD Dark Ride. Fun stuff, people. Come check it out here at Pinball's Arcade. Woo! Ready. So we are making our classic Mickey's Magnificent Margarita. Oh my goodness. Yes. Start off with, it is very good. Here we got here. 
Ice. Yes, ice. We're gonna start off with our Altos uh, Reposada Tequila. Oh. We're gonna start with uh, Contro. Oh. This is an all natural margarita, so we also start off with fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh. A little bit of simple. Simple syrup? Yes, sir. And a little splash of orange. That's the secret to the perfect margarita. That is I've it. Been told. It's the bartender that's a secret. Uh -uh. We're gonna shake that up. We're gonna strain it into a pint glass. This is what you would call a Cadillac margarita and I will show you why. Oh my goodness, look at that. Anybody that's had a Cadillac margarita knows it gets a topper. We use nothing but the finest, which is Grand Marnier, which is an orange liqueur brownie uh, brandy. It gets garnished with Fresh cut oranges, a lime wedge, a bar straw, and then it's presented to the guest on a black bed nap for them to enjoy. Guys, I'm here at Mickey's Tavern, Mickey's Tavern and we are gonna go in for that Mickey's magnificent margarita and you got just saw how she made it and this thing looks amazing so we got to go in for that taste test five four three two one let's get it oh wow that's a freaking drink right there my goodness Will you We got Trumpet over here playing the Guns N' Roses pinball. Yeah, baby. You know where you are? In the jungle, baby. Look at the size of this thing. And just to give you some perspective, all right, guys, we're getting ready to uh, try this largest, world's largest pinball uh, game. So it's called Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. So let's give it a shot. Let's set to set to go. Look at it's a it's a freaking cue ball. That's how big the pinball is. Oh wow. There we go. World's largest pinball. Come on, Hercules. I'm gonna do good on this one because it's nice and slow. I mean, if you're here with a group of people, that's honestly probably the, like, the most fun I've ever had is when you come here with like a bigger group, um, especially just when you can go, you get, get to eat a little bit, you know, drink a little bit, uh, especially towards the nighttime, you get to play some music, you know, bump up to it. Um, a lot of the workers here are super nice people, you know, they're very nice. Uh, they want to help you out, make sure that you're having a fun time. What a world, what a world. <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're here at Pinballs and we are chilling on the go-karts. We are in, in beginner mode. We are in slow-mo mode now, but we are getting ready to take off. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think I've seen. Scenes in the back. Scenes in the back. Yeah. You're gonna die, clown! <laughs> Space ball! I gotta figure out how to pass this. How am I gonna pass this? Oh my goodness. Wide. Wide. Oh. Oh. Hey, let's do a little movie trivia. What? was a top grossing film of the 90s. If you know the answer, put leave it in the car.
comments. <laughs> wow, I drifted. I'm a drifting away. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Season finale. Season finale. Season finale. Ah, ah, season finale. Coming up. <laughs> no! Arcade, Lake Creek location. <laughs> oh, I've been passed. I've been passed by the trumpet master himself. There he is, taking the lead. <laughs> so our goal here is to provide something for every age, every family, that they can come play and stay for hours on end. Eat, drink, party, and play. Play the game. Go, I go just to the old school. One of my little favorite games, the Terminator. Oh. Great game, great atmosphere. You don't find this nowhere. We got the old and the new. So that's what makes the fun because you want to pass down the tradition of some of these kids that never seen games from back in the 80s and 70s and wonder why we old school and can't keep up with Fortnite. Um, I like anything sci-fi. I like any, you know, anything horror related. Those are some of my favorite ones. And as you go around the arcade, you'll see like one of our party rooms was music and movies. So, you know, all the music we grew up with, but also the movies we grew up that, you know, kind of made us what we are today. So we would love to have you come visit Pinballs. Uh, so thank you, Pinballs, for having us out for our season finale of Yo. season one. Hey, but what a fantastic way to end the season. Uh, what do you think, man? I, I think we, we started off strong and we're ending strong. Yeah, even stronger. Think so? yeah. Uh, what do you think? Do you think? Do you think we should do a season two? I don't know, man. Maybe we, uh, I think we should leave it up to them. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Well, I, I think we should. Guys, if, should we do a season two? If I mean, if you guys want to see a season two, just drop a bunch of twos in the chat. How about that? Yeah. The more twos, the more tooty twos <laughs> up in there, uh, the better. So, yeah. but thank you all so, so much for tuning in and for all of your support. We really appreciate it. We're having a great time out here on the road. Um, and who knows what 2024 is going to bring. Yeah. You, uh, guys, uh, subscribe to our channels. Uh, hit the thumbs up. Like. Share it. Share the content. Share this uh, show. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy it, making it for you. Uh, this is going to wrap up Season 1. Episode 5. Ep Thank you all once again for watching. And we will catch you guys next time. And this has been <laughs> Real Barbecue <laughs> Adventure, brother! <laughs> well, I hang my head on a New York City rooftop body, let it go on the skinny. We're gonna dance all night so the streets will get pretty. Right for the night, never stop thinking clearly. So I let go. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is the Texas brisket. BBQ sandwich. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's massive. That's the big house. I am such a big eater. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave me alone. Leave Brittany alone. Don't look for that bite. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Five was hit the one.
back. <laughs> <laughs> no soap on me, man. No soap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's check out that. Let's check out the Texas barbecue. Let's go check out the Texas barbecue for some sandwich. I can't. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I think somebody spiked my burger. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>